I don't question President Obama's motives. That's where Mike has gone down the wrong road. I like Mike Huckabee, but this is about the most sensitive subject matter I can imagine. I'm not accusing President Obama of marching the Jewish people to the ovens. I'm accusing him of misjudging our adversary, the uh, the Iranian Ayatollah, in constructing a deal that will empower them, that will create a certain nuclear arms race, not his motives, but the outcome. And I'm trying to get votes to stop a, a deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, earlier in the show we had uh, Lindsey Graham on. That was from a different interview. Joining us now is uh, Mort Klein, president of Zionist Organization of America, former economist for Nixon and Ford and Carter administrations. Check out ZOA.org. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Steve. I, I know you've been uh, working hard to, uh, to try to uh, get your point across to the members of Congress. Um, let's focus before we get to the deal itself. You heard Lindsey Graham there say that um, he thought Mike Huckabee went down the wrong road and that he, Lindsey Graham, doesn't <laughs> question Obama's motives. I, I do. W do you? Look, this is a man <laughs> who refuses to use the term Islamic terrorism, uh, a man who refused to go to the Paris March to fight against Islamic terrorism, <laughs> a man who fought to get rid of Mubarak in Egypt, an ally, but refused to join the, uh, the people trying to get rid of Ahmadinejad of Iran, saying this is an internal issue. Guantanamo, <laughs> he's released dozens of extremely high-risk terrorists, uh, virtually for nothing, and... Uh, there's a uh, pattern, is there not? There, yes. and, and when the Palestinian Authority joined with Hamas, he said nothing and kept giving money to the Palestinian Authority. So I see, and this is painful to say, the evidence requires me to believe that he has a mm -hmm. uh, painful, unpleasant, shocking sympathy to radical Islam. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and look at the way he's treating Iran. He has never criticized Iran mm -hmm. even once. He's never said, stop saying death to America. Uh, when Hassan Rouhani last week said, death to America to say is easy, what we need is death to America with action, and Obama doesn't criticize him. Nothing. Uh, Nothing. So I'm uh, worried about where he stands uh, on uh, these uh, issues. Along those lines, mm -hmm. I want you to hear what John Kerry was asked at the hearing yesterday by uh, Congressman Mo Brooks, and let's watch and listen to that. I think they reflect an attitude and a rhetorical excess, uh, but I see no evidence that they have a policy that is implementing that against us at this point in time. Well, do you believe that Iran is the world's foremost sponsor of terrorism? Yes. And that they will use the conventional weapons made available by the Iran nuclear treaty to kill Americans or Israelis? Well, they may. <laughs> they may. They may use the weapons <laughs> to kill Americans and Israelis, but we're going to try to deal with them anyway. <laughs> what and, is that? And this deal gives them hundreds of billions of dollars yeah. in, in uh, money and new business uh, profits they're going to be earning. <laughs> <laughs> and as the world's leading person, uh, country who funds and arms Islamic terrorists, you're going to see a dramatic increase in Islamic terrorism because they're going to be funding them. They already give hundreds of millions of dollars a year to Hamas and Hezbollah. They've already given uh, tens of thousands, even 100,000 missiles to Hezbollah. There'll be more. They have 80 training camps in South America of jihadists training t for terrorism. <laughs> they're doing terrorism in, in 30 countries on five continents. This is an insane deal to be funding uh, and giving all this money uh, to uh, a country that uh, promotes Islamic terrorism. As Ted Cruz said, uh, it'll make America the biggest financier of Islamic terrorism on earth. Great point. And, and, and uh, you know, uh, not to uh, even mention the uh, side deals with the IAEA and the Ayatollah, which we haven't read, but uh, without being specific, unless you want to be, how, how were you received on Capitol Hill? <laughs> your, how was your point of view received? <laughs> Everybody was, uh, almost everyone I met with, with a couple of exceptions, were really noncommittal. Uh, they, they all say the same thing. We want to read it, we want to study it, and after we do and talk to both sides, we'll make a decision. Uh, so I found them to Grace Meng, uh, Democrat from here in New York, <laughs> she was very strong against the deal. Uh, others were leaning that direction, uh, but there was no one leaning the direction of supporting it that I lobbied yesterday, but they're really uh, not prepared to come out with anything right now. Even <laughs> even as recently as a couple of days ago, they still need to read it and find out more about it? Don't we know enough? <laughs> they're getting enormous pressure. These are Democrats yeah. I was meeting yeah. with. Uh, they, they're getting enormous pressure from the uh, administration in all, all sorts of ways. I don't want to talk about the specifics, but, oh, they're, sure. getting, but they're getting yeah. tremendous pressure. Yeah. 
and uh, they're con they're concerned about this. So, well, you're doing <laughs> you're doing the work that uh, that needs to be done. And uh, check out zoa.org, everybody. Zoa. Dot org uh, and uh, great to see you, Mort. Always well, great to see you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. All right, folks. Gimme Five is next, and it's a unique Gimme Five, I promise you. But first, mm -hmm. Donald Trump remains at the top of the uh, GOP polls, du more than double what he has uh, for, for what, what uh, Bush has. The media and critics, they'll say he doesn't have a plan, but he does because he wrote a book that says he will make America great again. It's called Time to Get Tough, and it outlines his plan. If you want your free copy of this book, go to Newsmax.com slash Trump book. Newsmax.com slash Trump book and get your copy now.